23 days after Thanos uses the Infinity Gauntlet to disintegrate half of the universe, Carol Danvers rescues Tony Stark and Nebula from deep space and returns them to Earth. Locating Thanos on an uninhabited planet, they plan to use the Infinity Stones to reverse the snap. Tony Stark comes to you, Steve, and he says, hey, Steven, I'm going to go enter this real risky battle here. I'm probably going to die at the end of this, and I need you to plan my estate. His net worth is about... $12.4 billion. Um, it's tied up mostly in Stark industry uh, industries. He privately owns tons and tons of weapons, um, <laughs> including like Iron Man suits, cars, and different types of technology. Um, he owns a satellite in outer space. Um, to talk about beneficiaries, he's married to Gwyneth Paltrow um, or, you know, Pepper Potts. Uh, and he's got a daughter. He's got Peter Parker, who has an expensive superhero hobby as Spider-Man. Um, and then he's also got Happy's bodyguard to think about. Mm. So he does have, I guess the first thing that just struck me is like he has an estate tax bill. So oh, yeah. right now he's over the ele- about eleven and a half million dollar exclusion. Yeah, twelve point four billion is a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you want to figure out the corporate succession strategy. What happens to shares? Um, okay. All the the myriad of tax issues. So let's let's <laughs> let's make some up. Um, we let's assume he owns most of the stock himself. Like he personally owns it. Yeah. And he's going to make his own corporate succession strategy. His wife actually like runs the company. So who we say, great, she's just going to take over operations. If there's a board they may decide to, to go otherwise. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but his I mean, stock, if he, if, he, if he has and she inherits the majority of the voting shares, um, she could probably make a lot more decisions on it. I'm not super. In, I don't do a whole lot of business law, mm-hmm. but I get, it, would, it would vary based on the structure of the business in the state and where it was incorporated. Most likely Delaware. Probably Delaware. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Um, it, Delaware has uh, state laws that are very corporate friendly. It's absurdly corporate friendly. So m- I, an astonishing number of big corporations have their legal headquarters yes. in Delaware. So even their headquarters are like like Coke or something. Coke will have, they have their headquarters in De- they have, They're incorporated in Delaware and they wow. operate in Georgia as a foreign company. What's like, what's like the biggest benefit of founding in Delaware? It um, makes it part of it has to do yeah. with taxes. Um, Delaware also has a really good um, specialty court system for yeah. corporate issues. Their legislator is really focused on the corporate code. Yeah. So like <laughs> their their judges and like the, the folks in their corporate court system are experts and they really know what they're doing. Wow. Okay. Um, um, figure out how he's going to leave money to his daughter. Uh, presumably she will not need that much money. Whether he's going to lump some of money, leave her like a trust endowed with some stock or give her a ton of cash and have some does he have, have a to, back with trust fund? Does he have to pay estate taxes on the money that he puts into the trust? If he puts a couple billion dollars into the trust? Yes. No. Well, if he's alive, he would pay gift tax. And if he was dead, he'd pay a state, which is pay estate tax. Okay. How much is gift tax? Is it it's the same rate. But it's generally about the same as this. It, Let's say he dies with $12.4 billion to his name. How much of that wealth is making it out and how much is going to the government? Oh, if, if, you, if with a good attorney, you're probably the bulk of it's probably gonna make it out. Really? Um, I mean, the, you're not gonna end up paying a lot of times. Ten, ten billion. Yeah, sure. Um, Eleven billion. It, it's probably gonna be pretty high because a lot of times people are gonna do things like even if there isn't a gift estate tax, you're gonna buy an insurance policy that pays it. Okay. Um, that's cool. You're gonna pre pre would do pay the estate tax. You're gonna pre plan it. You've never seen a billionaire not become a billionaire. Because of the estate tax, it's so rare. Yeah, like the Walt Sam Walton's children are not poor. Um, Jeff Bezos was well, ex-wife now is probably very wealthy. <laughs> but, <laughs> <All right. laughs> but um, um, but the, the people rarely lose it. Um, but there's enough ways to game it if you move enough assets out of the country or move it various places or title thing. There's so many games you can play that wealthy people have access to, and if you're a wealthy person who wants access to it. I'd be happy to help you. <laughs> but, um, but there are so many things you can do ahead of time to plan it. And a lot of it's going to involve large charitable gifts, um, transferring things during people's lifetimes, mm-hmm. seeing if you can redomicile assets in the place that we want to pay taxes and stuff on it. There's, there's a lot, a lot of things, things you can do. It gets very complex. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's say I privately own a satellite. Is there something the weird? The satellite in my is estate? probably going to be part of the domestic entity that owns it. Okay. So yeah. you, the satellite itself, 
Um, I mean, it's not like land in the sense that if you if you were gonna sue someone, you couldn't like tag a lien on their satellite. I guess you could, but um, it would just be, yeah, it would have to be Stark Industry assets. Yeah, why we part of Stark Industries? It'd probably just come with the company. I okay. would assume. I didn't tell you about this, Stephen, but I've been building an Iron Man costume. Uh, it's like really, really sophisticated. It's a weapon of mass destruction. I can kill people with it. It's fantastic. It's so great. it's like it's like being in the cosplay, but like but like legit. weapons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like being into cosplay and national in defense. vigilanteism. Exactly. <laughs> Can I build a weapon of mass destruction in my home and no. violate the no. laws? No. Why? So the Second Amendment yeah. only applies to arms. Okay. If it, if it helps, so arms are things you can carry around. Okay. Artillery is not covered by it. Gotcha. And mm -hmm. so you can't build a nuclear missile typically. Okay. Georgia okay. has um, specific code sections that regulate explosive devices, and they regulate the the creation, um, the possession, the transport, and the use of explosive devices but also what you can use to make explosive devices like, and there's yeah. and there's cutouts that are listed right so there's cutouts for fireworks there's cutouts for things like blasting gotcha. um, and then for other like entities but to do the blasting you have to have a license so a lot of this stuff it's essentially you're, you're not allowed to do it unless you have a license the federal government heavily regulates like weapons explosives etc cetera, etc cetera. what about what about firearms can i create my own rifle out of pvc pipe in my home <laughs> legal to 3d print certain parts of what we consider a gun yeah because federal regulations define a firearm very specifically like there's only certain mechanisms within the within the gun yeah like the, so, the, the actual like trigger like, mechanism yeah that, like, and, and fires i'm not gonna or whatever. Yeah. and i can't remember specifically what it is i just know it's like a very specific part it's been shown to me multiple times like like this is the gun everything right. else is just pieces don't make your own guns. My, well, my standing recommendation is let's refrain from making your own weapons yeah unless yep. you can make you like a, a crossbow whatever <laughs> that's my standing recommendation yeah. but if you did don't tell me about it yeah <laughs> so so basically if if tony stark made these made these iron man he's, suits he's these probably rich enough to make this happen he's probably rich enough to make this happen but he probably did it with the license from stark industries oh, or something like i that. am confident that he got a government contract yeah. to do this for the government to use the technology so just to summarize here, myself from things i've learned and let me <laughs> clarify where i'm wrong you can't as a private individual just start making weapons that's frowned upon by the government you're going to go get some without fbi being agents. A special without knowing that feel i could say safely yes yeah, so don't that, do that. Something to avoid if you can. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> partly, don't just accidentally make a and, nuke. And the recommendation <laughs> is partly, if nothing else, my concern that you will blow yourself it's up. It's the right <laughs> thing to not do. <laughs> yes. okay. We're going to pick up a hobby, try not to make explosive yeah. ones. Can't do that privately. <laughs> Tony Stark probably did it on some sort of contract type of a deal. Um, when he, I'm, I'm assuming that like when he, you know, bequeaths his company shares or whatever to whoever, uh, that would go with it. It would go with it. Yeah, gotcha. Great. That was all my questions. I can't make a pipe bomb at home. That was another question. Yeah, I would highly recommend no, not making. You, you, you can, no, do but that. should you? No. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a comment. Go ahead and like it, and uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts, guys. If you could share this on your timeline or with people that you think would resonate with it, that would be fantastic. Hey, if you want a will estate plan or you want to do anything involving trust or uh, involving legacy preservation, go ahead and give us a call. Our number is 404-939-7562 or send us an email at info at modernestateplanning.com. We would love to help you create an estate plan that protects your legacy and like preserves your assets and helps you out significantly. Uh, that's what we do. We are based in Atlanta, Georgia, and we would love to help you do that, especially with the coronavirus going on. You never know. It's terrifying. Have a great day. Bye-bye.